it has all come down to this. After almost a year of tournament action, the dust has finally settled in the Bantamweight Tournament of the World Boxing Super Series. With the tournament final set to take place in November of this year, featuring two of the top fighters in the sport, three division destroyer Nayoya Inoue and surefire Hall of Famer Nonito Denner. Both fighters have blazed away through the competition so far this tournament, with no fight making it past the sixth round. Their boats have been nothing less than pure destruction of their opponents. On the line is not only the coveted Muhammad Ali Trophy, but also the unified IBF and WBA championships of the world. Donaire makes his finals appearance after stopping Ryan Burnett via TKO in the fourth round of his opening fight of the tournament, after the Northern Irish fighter could not continue due to injury. He then faced late replacement Stefan Young, who was filling in for an injured Zolani Tete. Donaire won the fight by brutal fashion. Meanwhile, the monster has been on an unstoppable ride so far. First, Inoue faced and finished Juan Carlos Payano in just over a minute of their opening fight of the tournament. Then, the 26-year-old crushed Emmanuel Rodriguez three times in two rounds to take the WBA title and secure his trip to the finals. Inoue's goal is to finish the tournament in under 10 minutes of fight time. The fight is quite possibly the biggest boxing match in Asian history, with four-division Filipino champ Donaire stepping into three-division kingpin Inoue's home country of Japan. Inoue could have a bit of a home advantage at the famous Super Arena in Saitama, Japan, but with an 89% knockout rate, a decision victory is not what he has in mind. And after 18 years as a pro, this will be Donaire's first time fighting in Japan. The winner of this fight will undoubtedly become the best bantamweight on the planet, becoming the unified champ while picking up the Ali Trophy and can set up either winner with a chance to become the undisputed champion with fights against WBC champ Nordin Ubali and WBO champion Zolani Tete. With a combined 42 knockouts between them, this has the chance to be absolute fireworks and it can't miss for any true fan of the sweet science. If the young, powerful, and explosive Inoue can land one of his devastating blows, it could be a short night for Donaire. But the Filipino Flash's age and experience may be the difference. Donaire has stepped foot in the ring 45 times and has seen it all. Whomever comes away victorious has the chance to not only become the greatest fighter within the division, but whoever leaves the World Boxing Super Series with their glove raised could ascend themselves into the conversation as the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport. When these two step in front of one another under the bright lights in Japan, it will be a shoe-in Hall of Famer taking on an already destroyer of the sport. This fight is a can't-miss for any true fan and has the potential to be remembered for years to come.